Hey everyone, welcome back to BioInfo Tips. In today's video, we're diving into the world of data visualization with GraphPad Prism. Specifically, we'll be exploring how to customize heat maps to make your data stand out. If you're ready to take your data presentation to the next level, you're in the right place. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest tutorials. Now let's jump right in. The first step is, of course, importing your data into GraphPad Prism. Make sure your data is organized in a way that suits your analysis. Once you've got that sorted, importing is a breeze. Just go to File Open and select your data file. Easy, right? Now that our data is loaded, let's create a heat map. Navigate to the Insert tab, select Insert Graph of Existing Data, and choose the appropriate heat map. GraphPad Prism will generate a default heat map for you, but we're not stopping there. We want to make it uniquely ours. Let's add some personality to our heat map by customizing the colors. Head over to the Format tab, click Color Scheme, and choose from the preset options or create your own color gradient. This is where you can make your data visually striking and easy to interpret. A clean and well-labeled heat map is crucial. Customize your X and Y axes and don't forget those labels. Go to Graph Settings and tweak the options until your heat map is not only informative but also visually appealing. Annotations and legends can provide additional context to your heat map. Use the Annotate tool to highlight specific regions or add notes. And of course, a well-designed legend is a must. Let's make our heat map tell a story. Once you're satisfied with your masterpiece, it's time to share it with the world. Go to File Export and choose your preferred format. You can save it as an image, PDF, or even copy it directly into your presentation or report. And there you have it, a customized heat map that not only showcases your data, but does it in style. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow data enthusiasts. If you have any questions or want more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.